Hi, I'm Justin Brooke, the traffic guy that millionaires recommend. And today, I want to talk to you about Facebook's new website custom audiences. And if you're watching this in 2015, you're probably not thinking that's too new. But anyways, it's February 2014 right now, and it's the rage. So Facebook custom audiences, website custom audiences, is essentially the same thing as retargeting but it's not retargeting because it's not technically FBX, the Facebook exchange, which is where all the retargeting networks are showing their ads. It's actually even better because now you're able to use the full gamut, all the different ad units. You don't have the limitations that are inside perfect audience. You don't have the limitations that are inside ad roll. You have the full Facebook ecosystem. Anything you can do in Power Editor or Quire or whatever you use to manage your campaigns, you can do all of that stuff, except now you can just target the people who have visited your website. And there's three smart ways that I would start using this. The first way is people who land on your order page but did not complete the order. Shopping cart abandonment. This is important. You're losing a lot more sales than you would think here. So just like I've said for retargeting, to use uh, retargeting on your order page, use website custom audiences on your order page. Anybody who does not buy, send them back. Maybe they need a 10% off coupon or a 25% off coupon. Or maybe they just need to be reminded that they didn't complete their order for whatever reason. Life happens. The next one that I would do is someone who became a lead and landed onto your sales page but did not buy. So they haven't gone to the order page yet, but they became a lead and for whatever reason they didn't buy, send them back to your VSL page, your sales page, or, or whatever it may be. Again, you, you have an opportunity to incentivize them. There was once where I went to Grant Cardone's website and I didn't buy something. I got into Facebook like 30 seconds later and there was a sale on the thing that I was just looking at. I went and bought right away, so he got me. It's that powerful. You can absolutely do that same thing using Facebook's website custom audiences. The next thing that I would do is there are times Times, you know, let's be honest, if you have an opt-in page, at best, you're getting 50%. Maybe you've got a crazy good opt-in page that's doing better than a 50% opt-in rate, but most people are only getting, you know, 15, 25, maybe 40% of the people to opt in. Use your website custom audience on your opt-in page, and anybody who doesn't opt in, show them ads that take them straight to the sales letter next time. That way they don't that way you can bring them back and maybe they just didn't want to give you the email address but take them back to the sales page you got another shot with them or show them a whole nother offer show them another squeeze page maybe they just didn't want that thing that you were giving away maybe they wanted something else so that's three ways you can use Facebook's new website custom audiences thanks for watching my video and if you like that I've got a free one hour mini course for you just over here to the left and what it will teach you is how to create a multi-channel marketing strategy which is just fancy for saying how to get a lot of clicks from a lot of different places so if you want to learn how to get a million clicks per year to your website or more just click on the image to the left are we recording yeah. <laughs> thanks for my okay, so where should I should I get it up blah, 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 blah.